This is the plaintiff, Elizabeth Green. She says she brought her car to the defendant's tire shop because she got a flat and the woman sold her a defective tire. That's right. She put her life at risk because the tire she purchased from her had a bubble in it. The car wouldn't pass inspection and the defendant's a menace who refuses to return the 60 bucks she paid. So she's suing. This is the defendant, Diane. She says the plaintiff purchased a used tire from her, and a couple of weeks later she returns claiming the tire she sold her was bad. She has no idea what this woman did to the tire in the time she had it. For all she knows, the woman drove her car into a pothole, damaging the tire, and now wants a cash refund? Police! She's accused of treading on thin water. All parties. Please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket, the plaintiff bought a tire from the defendant, says it was defective and could have killed her. But the defendant says the tire was used and who knows what the plaintiff did. It's the case of it was not a very good year. Thank you, Douglas. Welcome, Elizabeth man. Green, you are suing um, Diane for $60 that you paid for a used tire there that turned out to be no good, according to you. What happened? I was coming from the senior center on July 24th and I came outside and I had a flat tire. It was on 21st and Cecil. Do you know how you got the flat tire? I have no idea. So I come out and I have a flat tire. I'm with my cousin and she said, there's a gas station at the corner. We'll go and get air in the tire. Then we'll take the tire around and uh, we'll get a, a, a used tire because I, I was due for inspection about a week later. So we go and we get the air in the tire and we drive to the tire shop. And the tire shop is her tire shop? Yes. All right, and then you deal with somebody else, not her? Never seen her before. Right, okay, she's the owner. You're the owner, right? Yes, I am. Okay, all right, and um, that person sells you a $60 tire? The guy comes out and uh, usually a, a used tire is $40. So he comes out and he says to me, I can give you this new tire for $60. It's a new tire. He said a new tire for $60. Okay. So. What kind of tire was it? I have no idea, Your Honor. I know you still don't about, know? I still don't know. Do you have paperwork? I have uh, paperwork from Volkswagen because I went for inspection and Volkswagen would not pass my inspection because of that tire. Okay, they so let's slow down a second, mm -hmm. let's back it up. When did you buy the tire from them? I got the tire from them on July 30th. Are you sure? I'm positive. Because, because your I complaint it, says it's July 24th. That's the date that it that got the used tire. Okay, yes, I'm that's sorry. what I'm asking, that's fine. So July 24th, you got the used tire from them. Yes. I'm sorry, I thought you said you bought a new tire for $60. From them. So that's not a used tire. I went to get a used tire. And right, they told but you me ended up with a new tire from them. A new tire them. for 60 All right, so that's on 724. And when is it that you go in for inspection and Volkswagen tells you you need a new tire? On the 30th. Okay. I go in for inspection. Okay, and, and what car, do they tell you? What does Volkswagen tell you? They tell me that my car is fine. I pass inspection except for that front. May I see something from Volkswagen saying that? Mm -hmm. During service, found right front tire has a bubble in the sidewall. Did you? Did they show you the bubble? Volkswagen? Yeah. No. You never saw the bubble yourself? No. And so you paid them $185 for the new tire? Yes, to pay us inspection, yes. Do you have paperwork from this transaction from when? No, Your Honor, I don't. Why don't you? Like, wouldn't you? I, I would uh, normally, Your Honor, but uh, this particular sale was a, um, it was a cash sale and I don't, did, didn't bring the receipt, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> uh, why we don't tell the tax man about cash transactions? <laughs> what, uh, no. All right, so did, do, does your, did you ever talk to your employee to see if he remembered? I did, yes. Okay, and did he? Did he remember the situation? Absolutely, Your Honor. All right, did she buy a new tire or a no, used tire? No, she did not. She purchased a used tire. She purchased a used tire. Now, yes, if the used did. tire has a bubble in it, you shouldn't be selling it, right? Because... Well, a bubble is a sidewall bulge, 
and it's usually caused from an impact on a tire. Okay, so if you sold her a used tire that had a bubble in it, how, 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 your used tires, how, how, tell me how the process works. Would you know it had a bubble in it? You absolutely would see it. Why? Because... It would be visible to the eye. So it's a 60 buck tire. Even if it's defective for 60 bucks, does the plaintiff have any recourse here? Yes. Why? Because um, it's a matter of he should have known that well, the tire I, it, was bad. Well, so it's a used tire. It's a used tire, but isn't it a thing of where you get what you pay for? You get what you pay for. So 60 bucks, any recourse if it's defective? Yeah, they should have checked to make sure it wasn't defective before they bought it. But whose obligation is that? Is, in the, is the customers or the business? Both. Oh, okay. Going inside the courtroom. Did you see a bubble in the tire when they sold it to you? No, I didn't see a bubble. You never saw a bubble. All right, but okay. now, if, the, if that tire had a bubble in it, tell me what a bubble is. It's a protruding uh, bulge on the tire. It's, and it's, right, and it comes from what? How does it happen? It comes from impact on the tire. Okay, so if the it. tire's not on her car, could it have a bubble? No, you wouldn't see it unless it was blown, if the tire was inflated. Okay, and the tire's not inflated until it's put on her car. Right. Because what, it's in between the treads? No, it's on the sidewall of uh, the it's tire. It's on the sidewall mm -hmm. and where, and, and a, uh, an uninflated tire, I'm just trying to understand it. So an yes. uninflated tire that got reinflated and has a bubble in it because of an impact in its prior life. Right. That could come out again once inflated. Once it's inflated, yes. That, that is a true fact, what yes, I just it said. Is. I was just curious. All yeah. right, so, but you would see it. Yes, you would. Okay. Um, and you never saw it? How do you know these guys at uh, that dealership weren't just trying to rack up a bill? What do you mean? So I don't know. I can make myself any clearer. All right, and then but, you drove but, the car for six days. Did you hit any potholes or anything strong or no, park no. a little bit of, uh, into something or? No. This is a credit, only because, like, I'm standing there boohooing, and I said, just give me some of my money back. Like, I just gave you $60, and I just paid $185. I'm not paying $300 for a tire. So the boss was there from the guy who originally sold me the tire, and the boss said to him, give her a credit. So he gave me the date on it. What else do you sell besides tires? Rims. We have uh, hubcaps. Yana, may I say something, please? Yeah, what else can she buy with her 60 buck credit besides a tire? Because she doesn't want to buy any more tires. From I'm not, no. We've been in business for over 30 years. We, we've always had the same policy. No cash refunds, we give store credits. That's we not advertising. So yeah, outside. warranty, first of all, you don't even have paperwork, so let's start with that, all right? But if they were to give you a, a warranty like this other tire company, do you give a warranty? Yes, we do, 30 okay. days. How many days? 30 on right. a used tire. Then what a warranty entitles you to is to get another tire. It doesn't entitle you to a, a money refund back, which is, and you're accepting nothing less than a money refund because you say they sold me a tire with a bubble in it. And I say, if in fact they did that, then they owe you $60. The problem you're having is how are you gonna prove this case? You looked at the tire when it was put on. You didn't see a bubble. You drove it for six days. You take it to Volkswagen. Volkswagen tells you there's a bubble and you still don't see a bubble. Um, you know, a bubble is something that you see. It's a protrusion in the drywall. And, um, you know, and you're driving it around for six days. How am I gonna tell them I know for a fact that you sold her that tire with a bubble in it? How am I gonna say that to her on the facts of this case? I can't. And, Your Honor? Yeah. And if Miss Green had bought the tire back, we were willing to give her a credit, even if she had a bubble in the tire, because we would have to honor our thirty-day guarantee. Right. That's not. Well, that's what ended up issue. happening. He gave, he wrote down sixty-dollar credit on a business card. Yes. Is that valid? Well, yes, it is. That's what we use for credit. Okay. But the thing is, if she had came back with the tire and wanted a new tire. Right, had, instead of buying one from Volkswagen, she could have come back. And applied the $60 and credit. And applied the $60 to credit a towards tire. getting a different tire if she wanted to. For half to get the it. price of what they charged her. Diane, I get it. <laughs> I don't know if it sounds like I don't get it, but I get it. All right, my verdict in this case is for the defendant. Thank Good you, luck. Your Honor.
So, Judge Millian finds for the defendant in this case, Ms. Green, if you'll step over here, you've got that $60 credit, right? You can still yes. go back. Yes. You want the money back, though. No, I don't, I don't want the money back. I don't want the credit. Uh, it was just a principle of the thing I thought that I was being taken advantage of, and uh, it's just a done deal now, I guess. You never I really they, looked at the tire closely, Who did looks you? at a tire? Yeah. I mean, come on. I mean, okay. if this is your business, you know. Well, sorry. That's the judge's decision. Yes, okay. Thank, thank you, you very much. Yeah. Okay. All right. Diane, the defendant's on her way out of the court. If you sold a, a tire with a bubble in it, I mean, that could be dangerous for you, Absolutely, couldn't it? Absolutely, yes. We've been in business over 30 years. We would never sell a tire like that. I mean, because they could come back if something happened. Yes, uh, absolutely. The tire blew out. Boom. Absolutely, okay. yes. And the bubble, could it, could it have been on the inside of the tire as well as the outside? It could have been, yeah. So she may not have been able to see it then well, when it's put no, on the Well, no, but we inspect all our tires. You do? Yes, we do. So you're sure you didn't sell her? Absolutely not. She thinks you did. Well, I'm sorry she feels that way. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. thank you very much. You. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it is. Okay, Harvey. Interesting. What do you think? Hey, Doug, here's the deal. It's a used tire. It's an as-is sale. Unless there's proof of fraud, the plaintiff is flat out of luck.